And I was always so impressed with him. And I've, luckily, I've known him for all these years now. I love it when he comes because he's full of ideas. I learn so much from him. Doug, I think, is one of the most creative people I've ever met. And I've met a lot of people. He and I had an exhibition together at the Vancouver Art Gallery in 86. And all the, that created more interest with all the young people. They all go flocking to see Doug's exhibition. They ignored mine, I think. The stuff behind me, it's not, you know, you, you couldn't give it away or sell it if you wanted to, but it, it's just a souvenir of just an amazing memory. And it reminds me of where I am and why I stay here. Gordon's favorite activity is beachcombing, which is also one of my favorite activities. And I love beachcombing. I think Doug does too. So we thought, what would be the best beachcombing ever? We looked at the charts and the maps, and we found this one beach on the west coast of the North Island up in Haida Gwaii. We chartered a boat, and we left from Queen Charlotte City in the morning. No waves, but there were really big swells. So it was like, we went to a pristine beach. I don't think anyone had ever been there before, really. And we landed on the beach, and it was like the world's biggest Easter egg hunt. It was in seventh heaven because there was floats, there was everything. We had a great, great time. So that's, the, that's one of the highlights of my life, actually. Look back on the day, and it was absolutely perfect. It really was the best day ever. Not often you can sort of say that about a day well, once in a lifetime, really. It's not just painting paintings like Emily Carr, the way I paint. He can make something that is very ordinary into something extraordinary, a float or a piece of driftwood. It enlarged up, becomes magical. I would like to do something that if people encountered it without knowing about it, they would go, oh, look at this. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, look what's that over there? And suddenly, without even realizing it, they've been sort of pulled into the whole beachcombing experience. We need great art here. We need things that are going to enrich and stimulate this community. It's terribly important. And I think that to really feel like you're in a place, you have to have objects or experiences that remind you that you're that place and nowhere else. At West Vancouver, why not immortalize like the best day in the world ever? I, I think in my head, I knew from kindergarten onward, one day I'd be doing something like this. The thing about a piece like this is that it's gonna be around a lot longer than I am. It's like putting a piece of Henry Moore outside the AGO in Toronto. It's something that I think will enrich our whole community. I'm 50 now. You know, I remember being eight and getting popsicles and salt and vinegar, vinegar potato chips at the concession stand at Ambleside. And, and people are still getting popsicles and potato chips there, and they're gonna continue doing it after I'm gone. And so it's a part of myself and part of my experience and what I felt about being at that place in that time. So that's, um, that's probably the deeper part of it, really.